A Pulitzer Prize and an Oscar are just some of the high-profile honors bestowed upon contemporary Chinese emigre composers. My dissertation examines the rise of the first two generations of these Chinese composers in New York City and their practice of what I call musical transnationalism. I was born in the United States, but spent my formative years in Taiwan. Being part of the Chinese diaspora, I am deeply interested in East Asian culture and the diasporic literature. After arriving in New York City as a graduate student, I noticed how often Chinese emigre composers appear in the headlines of cultural and musical news, including the Metropolitan Opera's commission of Tan Duan's The First Emperor, which premiered in 2006. A significant number of Chinese composers got their start here in New York and maintain close ties with the city. Therefore, my dissertation is as much a story of New York City as it is a story of Chinese emigre composers. In preparing my dissertation, I conducted archival research at the Columbia University Archives and interviewed past and present collaborators and administrators. The story begins with Zhou Wenzhong's arrival in the U.S. in 1946, his work as a composer and an administrator at Columbia, and his founding of the Center for U.S.-China Arts Exchange in 1978 after China's disastrous cultural revolution. During his many trips to China, he also served as a talent scout and invited students from Beijing's Central Conservatory to study at Columbia. Zhou constitutes the first generation of Chinese composers in New York City, while his students make up the second generation. Among those that pursued postgraduate studies under Zhou at Columbia in the 1990s were Tan Dun, Zhou Long, Bai Sheng, and Chen Yi, all of whom participated in the city's diverse musical landscape. Chen Yi and Zhou Long collaborated with the Chinatown-based music ensemble, Music from China. Tan Dun was active in the downtown experimental music scene, and Bai Sheng garnered international acclaim for his musical monuments memorializing the Cultural Revolution and the Nanking Massacre. I hope that my work sheds light on the importance of ethnic and cultural diversity in general, and Chinese immigrants' contribution to artistic innovations in the U.S. in particular. Asian Americans have historically faced prejudice due to physical difference, and continue to be treated as a domestic threat. Examples of this range from the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882 and recent attacks, both political and physical, on Asian American citizens. By establishing the mutual influence between Chinese immigrant composers in New York City, my dissertation challenges the notion of what is musically Chinese and what is Western, and works to transform the public perception of Chinese musicians and composers from voiceless exotics to agents of innovation. <laughs>